I really don't think he will, because that's so bad. Because good players know how to beat Jigglypuff, like Landon. That was some delicious Red Bull. I'm feeling energized, ready to go. That was some delicious water. So Smash Roll game one. Yes. Smash Roll, I'm assuming this was a neutral start. No stage No, because the thing is, like, Dreamland, like, hell no. Battlefield, no. that's Mason's Bay. Lilat is Lilat. That leaves Town and City and Smash Roll, which is probably what's going to rotate in this set. Or, no, sorry, it's probably going to be FD in Smash Roll. And already 76%. Yeah, Locust taking a very commanding lead. But Captain L getting his own little Pika combos in there. Nice little power shield for that quick attack. Getting that back air wow. approach into the down air. Hits him with a tumble, but I don't think Landon was prepared to follow up on that. Oh my god, the jab block! Oh, gets a grab, just lets him go. Nice, scared down tilt. Nice recovery coming in from Captain L. Oh holds that shield, god. but drops it just in time for Locust to land that F smash yeah. and get that first stock of the series. That was a weird option, but it worked for him. It all started off with Mason doing a fair onto a shield that probably could have been punished, but why not let it go, and then just took all that pressure from that. Exactly. Mason's up huge percent because of the nature of this matchup. Yeah. I can tell from experience, Pikachu real matchup, a little tough for Pika, definitely not impossible, and especially with the previous records between yeah, but L and Locus. Without a lead in this matchup, it's super hard. Sharks him with the Thunder. Yeah. It's hard, but it's not impossible nope. to say so myself. I know that from experience. Oh, oh But wow. that, sure, you will 100% do it. That and was there's so smart, the, the way start. he crossed up his shield with the back yeah. air, but on top of that, he landed on the platform so he could up tilt. Yeah. Very yeah. good cross up yeah. by Locus. Very, very smart play from Locus, who actually just started streaming, getting nice matchup experience with a lot of people over Wi-Fi. Specifically a Zelda who creamed him. Mm, yes, I remember that. Getting those nice little taunt messages in as well. Yeah. Getting in his mind. But this is different. This ain't Wi Fi. We here. We okay, live. Okay, so. I'm not sure how exactly how the ruling works because Mason would, ha would obviously not ban Battlefield because that's his stage, but. I mean, he would. Oh, he banned Lilat? Yeah, Mason most likely did ban Lilat. And then. Yeah, but. This stage in particular is so good for Pika, but I think he's been able to do better than in the past on the stage. Yeah. I just remember a set a while ago where Latin just like beat him in like a minute just by gimping him really quickly on the stage. Yeah, true. As First long as he can try and keep stage control, he'll be okay. Yeah. I'm looking for a nice little way to get back on stage, and there yeah. it is. Yeah, luckily Pika's extremely good just getting stage control in a matter of seconds yeah. with that quick attack. Yeah, Pikachu has such great recovery uh, with that quick attack, and especially getting back to stage off stage with that jump into the thunder, into the quick attack. He covers yeah. so much ground. Oh, that's, that's not a sure you can. And that's a back A. Getting that Ryu off stage. Nice thunder nice. goal. Yes, very nice. Oh, but wake up Shoryu. Yeah, wake up Shoryu. We'll do it. Pikachu, so light, and with Ryu at that rage percentage, yeah, that will for that's sure kill. That hurts. And nice. there's the up smash. Won't quite Aww, do it because Pikachu has no so rage. Sad. No rage on the Pikachu won't get that kill. If Pikachu had any more rage than that, it would yeah. for sure gotten the stock and would have brought it to the last stop scenario on in game number two. Yeah, Mason, I, m I, know he I, I know he's helped that set up quite a lot of elements, like the mix up between down throw and up throw. Oh, oh. that's a shield it, yeah. break. He knows it's done. Yeah. Once again, second LRA start in a row coming from Captain L. That's can, can he uh, bring himself together for this third game in this best of five? Pocket cloud. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna answer your question, but I will say he's trying to get some info for what for grand finals. Likely, I don't want to say anything early, too early, but he's gonna see if he can 
change something drastically. But I don't know if that's the best idea. That was an interesting. Yeah, this is actually like it's it's hard for Cloud. A lot of people don't know it because they have never seen it. But like Locust has shown that Ryu has really good tools against Cloud. Okay, something that is something about this matchup is Ryu's aerials have such good priority and frame data that they often trade with other moves. We saw against uh, against Cap when Pika when Captain L was Pikachu, his back air and stuff would always trade with Ryu, yeah. which is still bad because um, obviously Ryu's damage per hit's way. Oh, and that's uh, the spike. That's, it. that's oh, it. Oh, and he gets it. That's no, it's oh. not it. I think Mason saved him with an air. But anyways, what I was saying is that I can't even talk. He's he's the, he's not giving me a chance to talk. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Three zero. LRA starts. Right, yeah. uh, wh when and clean. That was clean. The thing is, when you're in like a setup where you already know you're dead, yeah, it's just why not quit? Yeah, exactly. 